G'day legends, g'day superstars, it's Peps, and I'm here with Tipped Outs. Week one of the 2024 finals selections for a massive four games of AFL football. And it's all kicking off tomorrow night, Thursday, 7.40 p.m. at the Radelaide Oval, the Port Power, the Geelong Cats. It is going to be an absolute cracker. A great way to spend your Thursday night watching two teams slotting in another top four position. Uh, Port Adelaide have been nothing but sensational over the last uh, nine weeks. Won eight out of their last nine games. They've got their home final. It has been a bit of a bogey game for them having home finals, but this will get them into the prelim. And their form has been sensational of late. They've been the heavy, the most. They've been the number one shot. They've been the number one shots at goal differential team in 2024. And when you got a forward line of Dixon, Rioli, Georgiades, Byrne, Jones. They're going to continue that form around. Geelong really need to slot down, tighten up on these guys, and there's a massive decision that they need to make. Do they decide to send Tom Stewart into the midfield, or do they send him back? If they send him back, I think it's going to be a nice little uh, sweetener for the port forwards. They'll have plenty of room to move, and they will score heavily on their opponents. The midfielders, well, they are going to be working their tails off, and I reckon they're both going to have two different outcomes, two different approaches to the way that they play this game. Port Adelaide, love to attack from the clearance, whilst Geelong, love the turnover game. It's Rosie, Butters, Horn, Francis and Wines versus Dangerfields, Holmes, Duncan and Clark. They do have the double act of Myers and Close pushing up on the half forward line, getting around the contest and streaming back with great ball use into the forward 50. And that's going to support Jeremy Cameron, Stengel against the challenge of Alira Lear and Zerk Thatcher down there. I really think this game could be won by who is going to be the better coach in the box. You've got the premiership coach from Geelong, Mr. Scott versus Mr. Hinckley, the Geelong legend. So who takes this one out? I'm picking Port to win this one by 20 points and Jason Horn Francis to put a stamp on the game as one of the game's best by having a breakout final. All right, if you thought Thursday night was going to be awesome, wait till we kick over to Friday, 7.40 p.m. The Bulldogs versus the Hawks and I'll be there. It's just a shame that one of these two teams has to go out a loser. But if you're going to be watching this game, you are going to be a winner because they are both exciting all over the ground. You've got the premiership player in Mitchell versus the premiership coach in Beveridge. Speed and skill ooze out of both teams. And this is going to be a tight game of the weekend. The tightest game of the weekend, I reckon, to pick. Darcy, Jamara, Norton, combined with Weston Waitman, is going to cause headaches for the back line for the Hawks. But don't you think the Hawks running carry will catch the dogs out if they don't have the pressure gauge set to 100 for 100% of the game? Ginnivan and Watson, they'll be loving it down forward with uh, Chol. And don't forget more, the All-Australian. They'll be wanting to swoop on this. They'll be loving the opportunity in front of a big crowd. But you've got to watch out for the man who we haven't spoken about yet, the Bont. Everybody loves the Bont. We want him to have another great final series. Is this going to be his swan song? Will this be the chance for him to be the premiership captain of the Doggies? I'm going to say this. Whoever wins this game will make a prelim. But without Will Day, the Hawks season will be nighty night and the Dogs will run out a winner by eight points. Well, once you get over the first two games, you do not get much of a breather because that Saturday afternoon, 3.20 p.m., GWS versus Sydney at the SCG. The Battle of the Bridge is happening all over again. It's finals time where GWS hold a 3-0 lead. Sydney have finally got a little bit of form back over the last number of weeks, and they're going to get a few more people back in, especially Papley, who's going to lead that little spark in the forward line that they haven't had over the last number of weeks. Heaney's had the week off. You've got Warner. You've got Gordon. You've got so much to love. And then remember, you've got Rampy rolling down back, McCartan down back, and they do play the Sydney cricket ground better than anyone, and we know that. They love their record. They have been the best team for virtually three quarters of the year. They had a bit of a stumble a number of weeks ago, but I think they're into a back a bit of form. GWS, what can you say about them? I reckon they're, they're probably the one of the most even teams, but they can have their moments. Toby Green has been a little bit uh, lackluster, but he loves finals. We know what he's done over the previous years. Jesse Hogan, off his Coleman winning uh, year, will not just want to make a statement throughout the season. He'll want to dominate the finals against the uh, Sydney back line. Green rolling through the middle. Whitfield rolling through the middle. Cornelio rolling through there. You've got Taylor down back. There's just so much to like about the GWS. And originally I was going to go with GWS to win this one, but I've had a bit of a think about it. And looking at the ins coming in for Sydney, they haven't been the most heavily scored team this year for out of reason. 
And getting Papley back in there is going to add a bit of extra spark. So I'm going Sydney to win this one by no more than two goals. Rightio. The first three games have been toit. Very, very toit. Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. at the Jam of the Hut, the Blues and the Lions. The last two games these two teams have played up at the Jabatois have been corkers. Last year was the prelim final where the Blues got out to a five-goal lead for the Giants to claw back and win that one. And then there was a close game at the start of the year where the Blues scraped time. What's going to happen this week? I actually think it won't be close. This will be the blowout of the weekend. This could actually get a little bit ugly for two main reasons. The Brisbane Lions haven't been, in, uh, haven't been fantastic in front of goal, preferably for about the last six weeks. It has to click sooner or later. When you get enough shots in front of goal, those points start turning into goals. And if they keep that rapid fire, the spread of goal kickers across the board, whether it's Hipwood, whether it's Danaher, it doesn't matter. You've got Berry. but so many options available at your disposal. Remember, you've got Rayner running there, McLuggage, Zorko, Lockie Neal. There's just so many options they've got at their disposal. The Blues are going to be probably bringing back maybe five to six players who haven't played for quite a while. Doherty's back in. That's going to give them an emotional boost. But I just think you can't bring five or six players back in and expect them because finals goes up another 20 to 30% in pressure, in decision-making, uh, and you're going to get worn out a lot quicker. It's really hot, nice and early, but as the game wears on, the fitter will survive. And I think Brisbane have got a lot more fit players, a lot more battle-hardened players, and I reckon it will stretch out in the back end of the ground. It'll be interesting to see if Kerno plays. Uh, Rumour is he might not be. At this stage, he is. But Kerno, Mackay, I think it would be a liability if Kerno goes in half uh, half assed because with a dodgy ankle, he'll get caught out very early and Harris Andrews will have an absolute blinder off him and just run off him at every single opportunity. That's about a bit of a faith in their makeshift forward line, which is... Pretty much almost got them over the line over the last couple of weeks. But the Lions, I reckon, will take this one out quite comfortably. And I reckon this could be a 30 to 40 pointer. Well, there you go. There's my tipped out week one of the 2024 AFL finals uh, tips. Three close ones, one blowout. But what you need to do is make sure that you join J Dog and I every Monday night for our review of this week of finals and then our preview heading into week two. Make sure to like, subscribe, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. We're all there. And um, make sure you tell someone else about how good we are because we love each and every single one of you joining in week after week. And um, if your team's not playing, enjoy the Mad Mondays. And if they are, good luck because uh, it's finals time, baby, and this is what it's all about.